We have an absolutely massive couple of days coming for crypto and you guys need to be aware of what is about to happen so you can plan accordingly because it is about time you start making some serious decisions in this market or you are literally going to get left behind, okay? And that might not mean what you think it's going to mean. So we're going to go through this right now. Remember, nothing in my videos is financial advice and right now CPI data is awaited for more rate cuts. Markets are now awaiting key consumer price index in inflation data due Tuesday for more cues on the path of the US interest rates and the economy. The reading is expected to show some easing in inflation after the outside CPI reading for the past two months. Although the core figure is still expected to remain well above the Fed's annual 2% target. Fed Chair Jerome Powell, as well as several other central bank officials, had signaled last week that they were still seeking more signs that inflation was weakening before the bank would consider cutting interest rates. Rates. So what we want from this is to see good data. We want the inflation data to come down, the CPI data read to come down. We want uh, inflation to start easing so we can get some light at the end of the tunnel because that might mean that they will start cutting interest rates. More interest rates equals more money flowing. With that said, there is a lot of talk around on the markets, on Twitter, on YouTube, officials, everything about interest rates actually being bearish for the market. If you look at the data, when the Fed starts cutting rates, we normally are either in or go into a recession. Markets then crash. So guys, you need to be prepared. I'm not here to tell you that that's not going to happen. I'm also not here to tell you that it is going to happen. I do not have a crystal ball. I do not know what is going to happen. And this is the reason why I said what I said at the start. You need to be prepared. I, as an influencer, a crypto influencer, I just don't care how pissed off people get at me for taking profits. I don't care because I know in myself that there is a chance here that we are going to reach an early peak and we're going to crash again and nobody is going to expect it. We have been in max pain in the cryptocurrency markets for the last couple of months, right? Max pain was actually the price going up because so many people were sitting on the sidelines. Now, a lot of people have got back into the market. We're seeing huge buys of Bitcoin, huge buys of the ETFs, huge buys of everything. And this could turn into a dump, right? I'm not saying this to be bearish. I have not sold almost any of my cryptocurrency. I have, however, been taking profits, all right? About 10% of my portfolio I've sold now. I am gonna continue to take profits as we move higher. I see no reason why I wouldn't do this. And again, this is not to be bearish. I am still so bullish on Bitcoin, on Ethereum especially, and a lot of altcoins. I still think there's gonna be a ton of money to make whether or not we crash like in the in the in the immediate term right there's still going to be money to make before that happens and I will still be investing but you guys whether or not you want to take profits, whether or not you want to call me an idiot in the comment section, I know that I'm going to be safe in this market no matter what happens. I'm extremely exposed to the upside, but I'm also ready if a dip comes. I've taken profits. I have cash on the sidelines to deploy heavily if it happens again. And if not, I'll take those that cash and I'll invest it into other assets. I'll invest it into property. I'll invest it into businesses. Yesterday, I spoke about getting a nice watch. Thank you for all the suggestions. Keep them coming in the comment section. I need some more suggestions on watches because I want them to be an investment. My good friend James, if you're watching, shout out. He suggested Rolex, maybe an AP, who knows? But let me know down there in the comment section what you guys think. But I want you guys to be aware of this and I wanted to get this out of the way at the start because I am extremely bullish on the market, but I want you guys to be aware of what can happen, okay? An example, not in Bitcoin, but in altcoins of what can happen is over the night, we had a big dump in one of the projects we've been looking at, Syncus, right? The liquidity is still at 13 million and the market cap now sits at 211 million, but the price 0.05. We reached a low of 0.025, 50% lower than where we are right now as we speak, okay? These are the kinds of things that can come out of nowhere. I don't think many people are expecting this to happen, and it can happen. I personally, because I told you guys about these buying opportunities here, I actually bought some more in and around this region right here. I could have got it at a better price, but I didn't know, right? I had my buy orders set here, so I bought some more, and I 
determine quite a lot of profit from that buy. Now, important consideration, this could continue to go down, all right? We saw about a 20, I think it was a 20X, maybe more than that, from where I initially started to talk about this project, okay? It's your job, it's in your hands when you decide to take profit. But I saw a tweet, where is it? Come on, let me find it quickly. Here, taking profits, but it could 10X. This meme right here is so important. This right here is the reason why the majority of crypto traders are going to get wrecked, okay? It's this reason here, because yes, it can always go higher. Everything can always go higher, but there is no reason not to protect your downside. If you've seen a 20, 30x, something like crazy, even a 10x, even a 5x, there is no reason to not at least take out the investment that you put in. It's only greed if you don't take out anything, all right? We have seen, so I personally have seen time in and time out, the market crashing 90%, losing 90% of my money. One time out of three, or one time out of two times, I lost everything. The second time, I had already cashed out 50 to 60%, so I was more than happy to see the market go down, because in the bear market, I had loads of cash to be rebuying. If you guys watch this channel, you know that I was buying heavily into these projects. We're up so significantly on the Solanas and all of that stuff. With that said, there is a way you can also take profits and also hedge your bets on platforms like the exchanges that I have down there in the description where you can get up to $50,000 worth of deposit bonuses, where you can trade this volatility, where you can long or short the market. You can do all of this stuff. But on these platforms, for example, you can come over here. I'm considering doing this myself still for Solana especially because I am up so heavily on Solana. We can see here, the price is $142, right? Did it come? Yeah. So what you could do is you could take some profits from your spot bags. You could then open a 10x uh, isolated margin long, not 20x, around 10x, even a little bit less, but we could say around 10x. You could then take 10% of what you sold. You could long it on a 10x uh, leverage here, and then you could be exposed to the upside. And if the market crashed, yes, you would be closed. The position would be closed, but you would only have the 10% that you would lose. And if the market turned from there, then yes, you'd be protected with that 90%. Now, of course, the market can dump and then pump up and you would miss out on it, but that's the decision that you have to make. And that ties us back into this. Yes, it can go up, but do not want a little bit of profit on the side. That's what I see anyway, guys. And this is not to be bearish. I'm not bearish currently on sinkers. I bought more, but this is what to prepare for if you've made big gains. Now, an interesting thing with sinkers is there has been some talk recently about the staking and unstaking. So there is a mechanism that happens that was basically what it's saying is the staking and unstaking taxes change. They change depending on the volatility of the market. This can go up to 50 percent to unstake. That's what's the position right now. It's 50 percent to unstake, which I didn't realize it was going to go that high. So I understand why there would be people that are pissed off at that. And that is fair enough. Their whole reason around this is to bolster the economy and they actually want to create something here. There is a lot of stuff coming out. They have their lending platform. They have their staking platform. They have a lot to go with the ecosystem. But take this into your consideration if you do fancy staking. All right. I personally have a lot of my sinkers still staked and I hope that the tax Taxes do change because I understand why people might not like this so much, but it's their plan to build this into the one of one of the biggest ecosystems that they have. So we're going to have to just see what happens with this. Of course, if you guys do want to unstake and get out, you can. If you want to still, still stay staked or you can simply hold the coin just for or the token just for the upward price appreciation. You can see it's gone up 100% since the lows here. So if you manage to snap it up, you'd be up 107% right now. And you can trade this, you can stake it, you can do whatever you want with this, all right? It's up to you. Now, with that said, Syncus still up to $200 million market. It's still up tons since we bought it in the private Discord. Here it is. So it's still up a ton. What do we get? I think we got like a at, at a price of 004. What's the price? Oh, wow, guys. <laughs> That's jokes. So the price now is 005, but I alerted it in the Patreon here at a 10x, actually about a 13x. But I alerted it. That's the last time I actually spoke about it. That's how quick it moved to a $300 million market cap. And now it's just back down to a $200 million market cap. So it's really not that bad of a dump, right? This stuff happens. But another coin uh, pro or project that I spoke about here on the channel was TIPS. Now, I bought this again. I bought it once at $1 million and then it crashed. So I bought it again at 400 k And this is the kind of 
first stuff you have to do in order to make it in cryptocurrencies that are super degen. You, this is why I don't buy all at once. I buy a bit, I wait, the price dumps, so I bought more at $400,000. Right now, tips, 4.5 million. We have done over a 10X, 11X on that since I alerted there, and I spoke about this project yesterday on the channel. So we are up from yesterday let me just put this in the daily so you can just see it. Look at this. Look at this. Daily up 175%. So maybe 100% from where you might have got it. So awesome stuff there. I think that this could continue to run. I'm still holding some of my bag, right? So I think this could continue to run. If you do want to check it out, it's called tips. Check it out if you want to. But of course, not financial advice for you to go out and buy it. But I mean, 4.5 million. The proof is in the pudding. And also, guys, if you do want to come and join the Patreon where you get access to my trades whenever I make them, the link is in the description. We've been killing it recently. But with that said, have this, have this engraved in your head so you can protect yourself no matter what happens. Now, let's look at overall. Let's take a little bit of data in. Let's find out what's happening. So meme coins are still going crazy, meaning retail. There is retail excitement, right? Look at this. Let me refresh this to see if it's got any more crazy. More push for, look at this. Okay, we're, we're, we're getting there, guys. And this is, again, another worry for me. Like, there, there's time we can spend here. Don't get me wrong. But retail is coming back, and they're coming back fast, okay? So this is our opportunity. Altcoins will probably go parabolic as long as we don't have a bad, for example, CPI read. We don't have bad data come out. We don't have a bunch of Bitcoin selling. Altcoins will probably continue to go crazy. Meme coins have been doing incredibly well. We spoke about Floki here on the channel recently. You'd be a nice amount of profit if you saw that video. We got the retail coming in and we have Bitcoin inflows of 2.2 billion, 33,000 Bitcoin. That's only 6,300 uh, 6, Bitcoin are produced each week, right? Last week. It's just ridiculous. 42 weeks left of the year, Bitcoin halving in six weeks, once in a market liquidity event. This time is potentially different, but again, no reason not to protect your downside, in my opinion. And give me, give me all the hate down there in the comment section. I don't mind. I can take it. I can take it, guys. And uh, we got the total three having a little bit of a trouble here. So let's wait to see. We got a support down there. So let's see if we can continue to go up. We got our high and our low. So let's see what happens with the total three here. We got Bitcoin's dominance having a little bit of a push back upwards, meaning that Altcoins may not see their time in the sun just yet, but I do believe it is coming. And then we have Ethereum coming down as well, further uh, solidifying that point that maybe Bitcoin still is the one that's going to be running the most. We want to see Ethereum start to run. We want to see Bitcoin's dominance come down. That's the sort of thing that gives us this altcoin season that everyone's so desperate for. On the liquidations, we're still not seeing much in the way of liquidations. A lot of liquidity has been flushed out the market from this. So we're seeing probably a billion, three, eh, what, one to three, four billion sitting at $50,000. The chances of that hitting again, I think are extremely high. I think most of the market think it's not going to happen. Therefore, I think it's going to happen. So I would prepare for a Bitcoin push down to 50,000. If that happens, altcoins will bleed. You get a new opportunity to get in. We also see the S&P 500 struggling a little bit there on Friday, but we'll have to wait for the open today. And of course, the market is going to be a little bit crazy this week, right? This week because of the CPI data that's coming out. So the S&P 500 is going to react to that data. If the S&P 500 reacts to that data, Bitcoin will react will react to that data. And I know Bitcoin people want to say they're not connected, but in my opinion, they are connected. The S&P 500, right, is at an all-time high. Guess what else is at an all-time high? Uh, what was it again? There's that coin that... Oh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin's at an all-time high. So we can keep saying that everything's different. We can keep saying nothing's connected. We can keep saying all of that, but the proof is in the pudding. Therefore, if we go into a bad market situation for the S&P 500, for the overall economy, I believe that even though this time is different, it's still going to affect our cryptocurrency bags. Okay, guys, with that said, I do hope I've provided some value. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you don't think that I'm bearish because my portfolio is still big, 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 big. I've taken some profits, I've got my cash, and I'm waiting for a potential crash if it happens, or that's like 10%, or I've got 90% conviction that we're going to go higher, all right? With that said, 
smash up the subscribe button, hit the like button, and who knows what this is. These are a lifesaver. I tell you right now, massive lifesaver. Let me know if you know what that is down there in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.